Hey everyone, this is Emmanuel from Parsimony. Uh, if you have a solo consulting business, chances are you deal with a lot of passwords for all of your different online accounts. Um, and this video is about a secure and efficient way of managing all those passwords. You know, when I was thinking about how I need to resolve this issue of managing passwords and then also making sure that I'm following sort of best practices, um, I looked into something called the password manager and the password manager is just that it's a tool to try to uh, keep track of all of your passwords and store them in a secure way. Um, there are a lot of different password managers out there. I use one um, called LastPass and it's i use the free version i'm all about free technology that makes my life easier um and so i'll show you a couple of the features that i rely on most and if you're still doing things like writing down your passwords or using the same set of passwords over and over again i would suggest that you try a password manager like lastpass so let's say you've created a lastpass account a, a free one and um, so you log in for the first time and you'd see this landing page where it would list all of the different passwords you're managing with LastPass. And of course, at the beginning, you'll have none. But um, I would also highly recommend that you install the Chrome extension, which has some really cool features. Um, for example, if you create a new online account for the first time, like, let's say we're creating a new Hotmail email account. Um, so I'll go through the ropes of creating a free account with Hotmail. I will enter in an email address for the first time. And then I will um, have the option of clicking on a feature for LastPass where I, it can generate a complex password and I can put it in. And you'll notice that as a pop-up, there's this button for adding that password. So now, bam, it's in your last pass account. Um, so it's one of the sites you're now managing the password for in LastPass, which is kind of nice. One of the helpful features also of LastPass is that you can share your username and password with other people. Um, this is something that I do, for example, with my wife for our, our uh, Amazon account. Now, here, here's another example where I already have an account, um, an online profile for Micro Center, but LastPass doesn't know about it. So um, I go to Micro Center's website, you know, I go to sign in, and through one way or another, I've put in my username and password, um, and then I click sign in, and LastPass will. Uh, detect that, realize it doesn't have those credentials, and it'll ask if I want to add them. Uh, that's one of the nice things about LastPass is that um, onboarding is pretty easy. Like you don't have to sit there and go through um, all the different online profiles that you have and like manually add them. You basically go about your business like you would normally, and it will keep prompting and saying, oh, do you want to add this? Do you want to add this? Do you want to add this? And you can go in and, you know, simply click add and it'll just be stored or you can add it and then go in and like clean things up by saying, this is for my social media accounts for my business. This is for my bank accounts for my business, you know, uh, that sort of thing. Um, and so you can get up and running and naturally over time, you will have a better password managing process in place. This approach is infinitely better than what I was doing before and it's way more secure also. Um, you may be wondering about uh, how secure LastPass is. So, you know, one of the things that I've noticed is that I, I recently got a, um, a new business laptop and I went to install LastPass, the Chrome extension, and then I um, tried to log in and I knew I entered the username and password correctly, but it wouldn't let me log in. And then I received an email because um, I was just like, what, what's going on? Uh, and, and then I received an email that said somebody tried to log in on a new device. Um, is this you? 
Um, and so it actually blocked me from logging in because it was a new device. And so I had to go in and say, yeah, this is okay. And then go back in and log in. So, um, it does have some security features where it'll error on the side of thinking like you're being hacked, um, versus just assuming because you entered in your master password, um, that you're okay. I hope this information was helpful to you. Um, you know, I don't claim to know everything. Uh, I have just made lots of mistakes uh, running my solo consulting business. And I believe I'm constantly improving on things. And so um, I know that there are the, some of these tips uh, I wish other people would have told me and saved me some time. And so I'm hoping that that is helpful to you if you are either at the beginning phase of running a solo consulting business or you've been doing it for a while and you just hit up against some problems that, um, that I've come across and found resolutions for. Um, and if that's the case, uh, please subscribe because my intention is to um, tell you more about the ways I've screwed up and things I've learned since then.